<laughs> All right, everybody, what's up? We're here for the tenth episode. I got Alex. It's the tenth episode. Yeah, tenth episode anniversary. Yes, dude. Bro, let's go. Basically, what we wanted to do is we wanted to do like a like a little fun recap. We were we're deciding to take a break from the podcast, and we're gonna do a little recap and react to some stuff. Are you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. <laughs> we're we're basically just gonna go down base uh, of what happened in the year. And we're going to talk about it, and then uh, we're going to also some clips that we're going to show. So first one, we got March 8th video, and this is, this is, uh, so this was an interesting year because I remember we, um, we were, like, planning this entire episode. Yeah. And then. We had, like, meetings for it. Yeah, we literally had, like, like three or four meetings. I don't even remember. And then we had, we basically had this entire plan mm -hmm. to base to film, um, this one uh march 8th video for the girls yeah and it was like it was pretty garbage like <laughs> it was no so bad. it was planned out pretty good but the way things went was just garbage yeah 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 <clears throat> so it was like everything that could have went wrong went absolutely wrong yeah what our what our plan was was to basically just make a rap and it was it was starring david and ben and david <laughs> dude david edited this video no 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 explain the <laughs> the whole reason of what david edited what do you mean okay so uh david didn't like the rap that noah wrote <laughs> and he just <laughs> he decided to do his own take on it uh and we kind of let him do his own thing because we were like you know what if he actually comes up with something <laughs> and it didn't work at all uh and then because of that we had to basically just turn the march 8th video into just a montage of like funny clips yeah and it because it was just a fail but basically what i have here is David decided to go and edit the video for us, and we're just going to react to this one real quick. Yeah. Let's watch this. Are you ready? Yeah. Okay. Go full screen. <laughs> Bro, there's so much effects. It's so funny. You're screaming like a chicken in the back. Because they literally... They told me that I was going to be the guy singing on guitar for the thing. Yeah, you were singing pretty good, bro. Bro. <laughs> the pan to Noah's van. Oh, bro. that was a bar. That was a bar, yeah. Oh. Bro, I don't know, man. What were your thoughts? I don't that? have thoughts on that, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. Just disappointment. <laughs> yeah. Bro. I'm not a girl or anything, but like... No, but... No, Could have done better. I remember we were talking to David. We were like, David, <laughs> this, like, he said he wanted to post, like, show this. He's like, yo, this is this is actually going to be good. Like, yeah. if I edit this, it'll look good. Mm -hmm. And this is what it came out to. Yeah, no, I remember Vlad was editing it too, and he's like, we're not going to be able to make a video out of this. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, no, you have to. You got to figure something. He's like, we're not making a video out of this. You're literally showing this You're showing this to, to your wife, and she's like, bro, please don't no, show yeah. this. No, you yeah. Like, you're like, I asked my wife, and my wife was just like, I hope you don't show that to the girls. <laughs> and then we were all like, yeah, it's a good video. It's a good video. And then we're like, oh. <laughs> oh my this was pretty embarrassing, bro, but yeah who knows there's always next year but I, I yeah dude but i really like i like how the montage came out <laughs> <laughs> to each their own bro yeah, bro i'm just saying it was not bad okay next up we got evangelism it's a really weird transition <laughs> <laughs> when was the first one october or september yeah yeah it was i think so it was, yeah, it, was, it, was, it, was <laughs> it was what and what was that when was it i think it was in september and like end of September, right? Yeah. So basically for the evangelism, what we did is we were walking around going door to door and we were handing out gifts and we we're also handing out like a card with our information and we we're just kind of like blessing them because I you know it was like a hard year last year and we just kind of like we wanted our church to go do our outreach for the community. Mm -hmm. And it was it was pretty cool because there was actually this one story. You could also talk about this, like get on this, but um we there's this one older lady yeah who um needed some yard work done this was the first time and we 
it was you, me, Sasha, and then a couple of other people. Uh, we came to her house. We pulled out weeds. And we were, like, in her backyard pulling out, like, sticker bushes. And no, stuff. that was the that was the second time. That was – so we, the first time we we went to door-to-door -door and we met her. And then the sec second time we came to her house sp specifically because she needed help. Yeah. No, because she asked. She was like, can you do yard work? And then we were like, oh, yeah, yeah. And then we just, like, <laughs> yeah. ghosted her. And yeah. then the second time – Sasha came back, and then we just had, like, a full entire, like, grind session. Yeah, we were... It was, like, uh, extreme, what was it, home makeover edition or whatever it's called? Yeah, basically. Except we did it in, like, half an hour. Yeah, that and was... And women came, too. Exactly, yeah. <clears throat> also, and then from that first time that we went, there was actually a story of the guy um, that Angelica and her group first visited of when he had... You know, they visited him, and then he had cancer. Yeah. Uh, and it was, it was actually a really interesting story. That was actually supposed to be me and Dennis's house. Yeah. And then Angelica went for us. Yeah, and it's just crazy how we run into these situations where, um, you know, there's people who are actually in need. Mm -hmm. And in that moment, they actually they needed God. Yeah. No, and I love how open they are about it, too. Because mm -hmm. you're just like, hey, do you have any needs? Do you have any prayer requests or anything? And they're like, yeah, I have cancer. And we're like, whoa. <laughs> yeah, know? exactly. But and it's like, it's good that they open up because it's like, you know, they have the the spiritual support. For sure, yeah. And we we have the story of, of what happened. I don't know if you wanted to read it off real quick of what exactly happened. Uh, just the text of what was sent? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, so <clears throat> Angelica texted the, the group chat, the youth group chat. Uh, and she said, we visited the guy who had cancer in his, uh, in his nose because he had cancer in his nose. Mm -hmm. Uh, he got out of the hospital two days ago. The procedure was pretty intense and involved him having to get a large skin graft from his arm. Uh, he's in a lot of pain right now, both physically and emotionally, but he says that it's a miracle that he was discharged so early because he was supposed to stay four more days. And then she said, um, crazy how we were able to meet him with, uh, meet up with him at just the right moment. Uh, and then she said, I told him about our youth praying for him, and he's very thankful and says we're also invited to stop by. If you can, continue to keep Ed in your prayers. Yeah. <clears throat> and then the third time that we came, that we all started going back to the houses, mm -hmm. we, we did a checkup on him, or they did a checkup on him. Yeah. And uh, he was really relieved to see them. Yeah. And it was, it was I think it was a good um, sobering experience to, to know that, you know, you can become the light for your community and you can... You can always make an impact. And there's people who are willing to... Yeah, and it's just a small listen. little deed of giving someone a gift and telling them that, you know, we care for them. And exactly. It's like, it turned you know, into something, to something bigger. It can change their life, for just sure. like that. For sure. Okay, youth camp. Man. Bro, this year... So last year, youth camp, the year prior to this, this last one, was like, it was good, but I feel like there's something missing. I don't know, yeah. I don't know if you've uh, felt that, but... There was just, like, I don't know. People weren't as excited, I would say. It was a lot less um, happiness, joyfulness, all of this stuff. Yeah. But this year, I feel like God was definitely working for sure. Yeah, I felt like last year's was more, like, uh, scheduled, if that makes sense. Yeah, yeah it this was. This year was more, like, open and free and wild kind of thing. Exactly, yeah. <clears throat> and we, we also got to um, invite some speakers to you from g4t we had we yeah. had slavic thank you slavic for coming we also had george um from g4t and i have a little re recap we're just gonna go over um the recap real quick and then we'll talk about some of like the f the <laughs> the people's favorite moments from youth camp the recap the video yeah the video i cut mm -hmm. it up a little bit so we'll go run through it cool <laughs> nice. Uh, yeah, I know. <laughs> my goodness you know the good thing about our youth camps is that all the parents cook for us yeah the moms don't 
the the mo- year- for the moms, it's like Master Chef. <laughs> exactly, yeah. The year before that, it was just the crew at at the camp themselves. Nothing cooking. against them, but it was just like it was mediocre. It's not Russian mom food. Yeah, it doesn't hit the same. That's true. I hated this. Dude, that was so much fun, dude. Nice. Oh, they look like little ants <laughs> yeah. in like an ant form. Dude, Vlad with the drone shots. That was man. such a good transition. That was, that was a really good transition. The cleanest transition in the whole video. That was nice. Shout out to Vlad for <laughs> editing this video. Shout that out to really yeah. Good. Shout out to Vlad, the one who's like holding us at gunpoint right now as we're <laughs> <Yeah>. talking. <clears throat> you know what you guys need to do? What? Well, you guys, us. Um, you, we need to put a GoPro, but like facing you. So like you put the GoPro on your forehead, like on the, uh, the little head strap, and then uh-huh. you make it face you with the wide angle. <laughs> and then you guys do like a whole worship night with it. Oh, man. <laughs> Have you seen, you know what I'm talking about? Yeah, I yeah. know. The wide <laughs> angle on the forehead. Yeah. Oh, my goodness. Oh my goodness. I actually really loved worship. I loved it, man. Yeah. Everyone was so happy. It was so fun. It was not, well, not fun, but it was just so like uplifting. Yeah. For sure. It was so like spiritually moving. Hey, Mark, Mark, literally before this, he came up to Noah and he, they were like talking about him um, leading it that first time with the mic. Yeah. And he, and then Noah's like, you're probably going to have to do it a second time, I think. I'm pretty sure that's what he said. And he actually got to do it. Uh, and it was just such a good moment. Yeah. <clears throat> ben didn't even have to ask. He just got the <laughs> yeah, mic. Yeah, he just got the mic. Yeah. Oh, man. That was great. And Tim on the drums, dude. I know, bro. This guy, this guy's a monster. For real. Mad respect to him for that. Yeah. I have no idea who that is, but <laughs> okay, we can give him a shameless plug. Yeah. Shout out to the child or woman or whoever knocked on the window. <laughs> yeah. So <laughs> it looks like everyone, a lot of people in the in the comments, what they said was that Friday night was their favorite. Oh yeah, no, cause uh, you gotta give some context, bro. You guys made a post asking what their favorite night was. Yeah, we so we had a post, um, and a lot of people there. Basically, what the post was, what was your favorite part about camp? And mm-hmm. a lot of people put in Friday night. Yeah. And I think it's because that that night and that particular night, George was talking. I remember. And this guy George, he's like, he's like super on fire. I'm super passionate when he's talking about, you know, whatever. Dude, it yeah. Is. When you're like, t- when he's talking, it's like, you feel like you have to listen to him. Mm-hmm. It's like even for like the people that would fall asleep. I'm not gonna say names, but we know, <laughs> we know. Who, um, even they were like fully awake, like listening too. So it was like crazy because it's like mm-hmm. his words were like moving. Like they were so like eye opening. Yeah, and I think I think for a lot of people, it really hit hard. And after that, we just started going into like just prayer, worship. Mm-hmm. Um, just I think people are on their face, like seeking God truly. Like, yeah, I, I could say that for sure. I think there's a lot of times what we will do is we'll take um, certain moments, and it's just hype, and it's all emotion, but it's none of it is really God or. Yeah, for it's like in part. the moment, and then like when it when time goes by it like dies down you know exactly yeah but this is this is a time where i think god was truly 
doing something. And then after that prayer, we just all got excited. We were like, we're going to play Go. We're going to play Go. Because Go was like the main like hype song of youth camp at yeah, that time. And it's like the main song that like probably Dennis hates now. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, exactly. <clears throat> you guys did it the following Friday after too. Yeah, we did. At youth. And Dennis was just standing there. I remember <laughs> looking at him. This guy was not happy. Yeah. But that, I think at the particular moment, it was a good time to do that song. Yeah. And it was great. All right. Kids camp. <laughs> <laughs> Everything about it or just this year? We're going to we're going to hit this year and then we're going to go to the years prior. Mm -hmm. So let's let's play this. Hopefully this won't be too much. Let's see. <laughs> nice. I love the noises it makes. Well. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness, bro. I took such an L. That was fat. That was fun, dude. Yeah, that was so fun, bro. You got sucked, dude. Yeah, I know. This was the paint wars, right? They didn't let me play in it, bro. I just saw you. Oh, this is when George was running after me. No, they literally didn't let me. I asked. They were like, let the kids have fun. I was like, That's whatever. <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness. Bro, this year the songs for Kids Camp were so heat. Yeah, it was heat, but it was so hard for no reason. Yeah. It's never this hard at youth. You guys have a pretty serious crowd, bro, that's why. <laughs> yeah. I just love how it, it looks like a rock concert. It like, sounds like one. It's and there's little 10 year olds just standing in the front row, <laughs> just like looking at you guys. <laughs> yeah. And you guys are like <laughs> on stage. Yeah. It's so funny. No. Bro, <laughs> come on, This man. is so funny. Oh, yes, bro. <laughs> you the bus driver. That's so... No, bro. <laughs> <laughs> That's so annoying. What can we expect? Will this be a camp unlike any other? Will Brother Jared and his crew embark on a new adventure? <laughs> Buckle up. Hold on tight. Enjoy this for a Nice. <laughs> Dude, where have I heard this song before? This is like our go-to for every re for every video we do and our recap for this year. Song of the year, indescribable. Nice. I was forced into doing this, just so you guys know. <laughs> nice. Oh yeah, bro, they're getting lit. Why is Tim smiling? <laughs> Because some, someone said something I remember and he started laughing. Nice. I'm making new friends. Wow, man. Look at you. So inspirational, man. <laughs> it's not even... I know, bro. She said she was going to edit it in, man. I told you I got forced into it. <sighs> nice. This is really good content. <laughs> yeah. Dude, I bet when the kids watched that, they were hyped, man. Dude. Yes. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to ask you some questions. Okay, what was your favorite memory from this year at Kids Camp? <laughs> favorite memory was probably... Um, I don't know. There's like a, a few things, I think. Uh, probably the number one thing was um, kind of just watching the kids, uh, uh, like, not spiritually mature, well, spiritually mature, but, like, um, kind of grow in Christ, like, make decisions, um, you know, commitments, kind of um, realize things uh, and, like, move forward. Yeah. But um, kind of unrelated to that is also, like, um, just getting time to spend with my friends, like, good old times, because it's, like, we're up in the mountains. We don't have service. You know, we don't have anything that we can do. We just sit and talk to each other and just kind of bond. Yeah, that's so true. I remember, <clears throat> I think this year, a, a lot of kids, what they did is they really made a decision in their hearts to, like, to follow God. And there, yeah. there is a lot of fire in them, I could tell. Mm -hmm. And from my perspective and a lot of other people's perspective, they were serving as leaders and yeah. helpers. 
it was like a humbling moment because then at that point you realize that it's not all about you. Like yeah. God, God is using you to help those kids. Yeah. And to um, no, and it makes me so happy to see the see kids. You know, like kids. Uh, just like growing and moving in Christ. It's so awesome. And <clears throat> it's like nostalgic because you remember when you were at camps too. Yeah. And you were making those decisions and those those commitments and, and trying to grow and move forward. And it's so awesome because you're just like, dude, now I'm helping kids make those same exact decisions. And exactly. It's, so, it's like, it's just so like, um, I don't know. Humbling. Like, yeah. Moment, for sure. It's just so nice to see. Did you... Uh, I wasn't here for this year, but there, it was the first year that they brought us guys that are age mm -hmm. to help for our kids' camp. You were with Larry, and you had a group. Oh, my goodness. Yeah. I wasn't there. <laughs> I had I had a little uh, issue with my back. but um, Yeah, just a, just a little minor issue. inconvenience. Yeah. Dude, that was probably my favorite year of camp. <laughs> we were menaces, dude. It we're, was so fun. Everyone hated you, apparently. Me specifically? No, not you. Just the, just the, group? the group. Yeah. <laughs> Man, what can I say? <clears throat> we were not helpers at all. We kind of just did whatever we wanted to. Like, yeah, there would be times where she all would be like, oh, can you guys go do this, do that? We'd be like, yeah, we'd get it done, and then we'd just go run around the woods and, like, <laughs> do random stuff. Dude, it was so much fun. I don't know. I don't even know what we did that year <laughs> or why we did anything. <laughs> <clears throat> but it was so much fun. And I remember Larry even told Juta Allah that it was like, he never wants to help again if he gets put in a group like that. And we felt so betrayed because we were like, dude, that's our homie and he loves us. And he's like like hanging out with us. And then he's like um, looking for us half the time because we were like lost. That's so funny. <clears throat> but you could you could definitely tell that there was like a big change from then until now for sure. Man, I'd hope so. I don't know. <laughs> Cause we man, when I first joined, dude, I, I got a lot of responsibility in taking care of kids, man. Cause my leader would just be gone. Mm -hmm. And I'd be like, man, this sucks. But I had my other other helper on the group too. Yeah. I think my first actual like year of helping helping, I was with Andre. Uh, and it was right when I had knee surgery, dude. And it it was so hard because mm -hmm. we had to do so much walking and I couldn't bend my knee or do anything with it. Uh, and on top of that, it was still so swollen and it was in so much pain. Mm -hmm. But it was like a, it was such a humbling moment because I'm like, I'm not doing it for myself. That was like the year where I realized I'm like, I'm not doing this for myself. I'm not doing this to, to like as like a vacation or to go have fun. I'm like actually doing it to help kids. <clears throat> it was like a nice moment but then the amount of times that kids like hit my knee or did things it was like man <laughs> i'm really bet. regretting this <laughs> i bet dude <clears throat> i think it's good to you know for people to know that they can serve mm -hmm. like youth camp is great like you can you can come to youth camp and you can get something out of it but there's you will get something out of it yeah of course mm -hmm. but there there's just like a whole nother of stuff that you learn and a lot more that you can get out of serving at kids camp so that's yeah i think that's important for people to know that they mm -hmm. can serve there as well no and i think one of my favorite parts is that it makes me feel like a soccer mom <laughs> yeah <laughs> that's like, so true you just feel like this like mama bear who walks around with like all these kids the whole time yeah i don't know it's so fun it's so fun for me i don't know why yeah i loved it okay well, what we got next oh worship conference hmm. <laughs> 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 um just uh, say a little quick shout out to uh, Noah, Ksusha, Dennis, and Allah for making this possible. We're super thankful. I think the worship team was really thankful for yeah. for this conference because, honestly, I, I came thinking that I wasn't going to get a lot out of it. Um, man, it was, it was from, what, 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. PM. It was like ten to five. They finished. Early. Yeah, that's what it said on the card. But it was it was ten to five. Mm -hmm. But I felt like I got so much out of it. Yeah, for sure. And I think a lot of the the newer people who were heard joining the worship team, um, they got a lot out of it too. And I don't know if you wanted to speak on that kind of. Dude, I mean, I have uh, I took notes obviously during the whole thing. Um, but it's like when I went there, I was kind of expecting it to actually be like a. Because, like, when they said conference, I was expecting, like, a G4T kind of thing where we would have, like, a whole worship thing and then, like, choose yeah. what thing to go to or, like, what uh, meeting kind of thing. But um, I actually really liked the way that it went. Because mm -hmm. it was, like, yeah, it was, you know, time-consuming where you just sat in one place kind of thing. But I really liked it. I was It was a lot of really useful and good information in terms of worship. I mean, I don't serve on stage yet or anything like that. 
but it's such a like a a good like preparation mm-hmm. kind of thing. It's like a um, just helps me prepare more for when I do. Um, and I don't know. I'd have to dig through my notes, but I have a lot of notes, man. Yeah, it's like there is a lot of questions that were answered. Um, mm-hmm. Dennis went over kind of theology of worship. Uh, Noah, he kind of took some lessons from David himself mm-hmm. and kind of like that was like a symbolic representation of worship. Yeah. And then there was like this whole like <clears throat> Q- Q&A where you just had like just questions, like anything that was on your mind, you ask the the leaders who were up yeah and they would answer it for you like why do we not wait why do we not have smoke machines why do we not have these these cool looking lights all these blah 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 blah. why do we do old songs why do we do new songs yeah all of that was answered and then all i was like our main clg worship leader she came and she shared too and I'm, I'm like grateful because you can we can get info from the younger youth leaders mm-hmm. but it's also good to to, to listen in on older people who have a lot of experience because she's been in worship ministry for like i don't even know how long like 20 years plus dude that's crazy yeah that's older, that's older than than me exactly so it's good <coughs> to get that in, that info <coughs> so um if you're interested in worship uh you know i don't know <laughs> <laughs> but, pray about it but yeah pray about it pray but, about it see how you feel um if it's on your heart I guess come up to to Noah or mm-hmm. to Allah or someone else on the worship team, like a leader, mm-hmm. uh, and talk to them about it. See what happens. See how it plays out. Yeah, I remember. What, what was your story? You were at G Four T conference. Yeah, I was on the last night. Uh, we were doing the prayer. Um, honestly, don't remember the prayer, but I remember that I was just like, um, God, if there's any issues or anything that's like um, holding me back, or if there's anything that can help me grow kind of like uh tell me um and then there was like just two heavy things that were put on my heart one was uh i had to apologize to someone because there was like a like a pretty bad tension between me and someone Mm -hmm. and then the second one was to join the worship team and it was pretty awesome because it was like i always put it off because i never wanted to actually like commit because i'm like oh this is like time consuming and i won't have time or you know i won't meet their expectations or anything like that but i'm so happy i did it i'm so happy i came up and told noah um, and I'm really excited for <clears throat> where it leads me and um, how it goes. Like, honestly, I'm so excited. For sure. I can't wait. Maybe maybe you'll even get to the point where you'll play at the next youth camp. Dude, that'd be sick. That would be that'd so be cool. That'd be sick. I don't know, man. I would get really excited. Yeah. Yeah. I, to see what God has in store for me. Exactly. It's up to him. Yeah. So that was a worship conference. And <laughs> we're going to – we can't leave out teens – ministry <laughs> i think if we did alina would, it, would get a little bit mad but <laughs> she'd get a little mad <laughs> let's see i'm just gonna i'm just gonna leave it at this man i don't, I don't know what else to, to do basically i just what i did was i went through our fo- our videos and photo album and i took out what i thought was interesting <laughs> and that's I, one way to put it i compiled it so let's let's check this out I'm actually kind of concerned. (laughs) This is David's idea, dude. (laughs) I can tell, man. I don't know. (laughs) Something about it brings David in my mind. Bro. (laughs) Bro. Oh, yeah. This was like a breakthrough moment. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it's just a Russian grandma talking right, listen, in the back. Just, just listen, just listen. Whoa. Go back, go back, go back. She's she just talking to him. She was like, mm-hmm. I'm <laughs> just eating. <laughs> oh, bro, I'm so uncomfortable. <laughs> oh, yeah. What was this? Was that an actual pizza? Dude, that thing was probably out for like two days. Or it was out for at least a day. Actually, it was really rock hard, yeah. And we started throwing it, and it got loose. Or not loose, but it got, like, a little soft again. Oh, it's deep. <clears throat> I think on this one, I caught it, and it went through my hand. Yeah. Nasty, Nasty bro. Nasty, dude. It's 
It's a good thing I wore the apron, bro. I would have ruined that. Oh my goodness, <laughs> bro. Look oh at this guy, go. bro. Bro. Such an inspiration, man. <laughs> <laughs> my bad, dude. Bro. Dude, I love David. I don't even know I'm what's going so on. I'm so sad that he's moving, bro. <clears throat> oh, this was like... Um, this was preparation for the... Um, the outreach. The, the outreach for the grandmas. Yeah. Or the elderly. I don't... Yeah, I think it was mostly grandmas. It was, yeah, it was for the elderly. That was the um, context for the video of Tim eating the, the, the ice cream bar. Exactly, yeah. This guy hasn't eaten sugar in like a year or like two years. Mm -hmm. what was, I don't remember the time frame, but... The grandma made him eat sugar, <laughs> and it was so funny, because she was like, she brought it, and she's like, oh, I went all the way there and got the ice cream, and you're not going to touch it, and Tim's like, oh, <laughs> and he started eating it, and she was like, good, good, keep eating it, <laughs> it was so funny. <laughs> that is funny. So, yeah, teen, teen service, I have got to be involved, and I think you as well, I think last year in 2020 is when this thing, like, kick-started mm -hmm. with Alina, yeah. and it just continued on. Yeah, but I kind of just joined, uh, I don't know, it was like random. Yeah. It's like, I knew it was a thing, but it's like, I wanted to help, but I never actually asked. And I always just would like uh, show up to them and just kind of watch them. Yeah. And then at one point, Lena's like, you're in. <laughs> I was like, <laughs> all right. <laughs> That's the same thing. I was just like, because on some, sometimes on Sunday, I would just be super bored. And yeah, I, that's exactly it. I was like, I don't want to go home because what if we do something after? Exactly. So we, I would just stay and then. She came up to me and they didn't. They were. She was like, "Do you want to do worship and do you want to help out?" I'm like, "Okay, sure, I'll mm -hmm. do it." And then you came in later and you started helping out as well. Yeah. No, I came like, um, cause I, I saw like all the like the fruit ninja stuff and all that you guys were doing. Oh my goodness! Yeah. I came like uh, winter of last year. I think it, I don't remember when it started, mm -hmm. but I came winter of last year because I remember it was like right around that time you guys had like the Christmas party and stuff like that. Yeah. So the thing I like about teen service is that it's a, the young adults and the preteens coming together, and they're they're close in age enough yeah. where they could relate. But we also have a lot of experience mm -hmm. um, that we can uh, like give to them, and so that they could kind of relate to us. And I think for them, it's been a good experience. Um, there's a lot of testimonies that we've shared uh, at our teens, and uh, it's it's just young people in our youth that's <coughs> handling the entire service. Like, no one is older than 30 that is <laughs> serving at teen service. So it's, like, it's a good experience for them. But, yeah. Um, yeah, and I like, I like how it's a closer age gap because it's, like, there's more bonding that happens, you know? There's a lot of bonding. And we I, do a lot I, of collectivities. Yeah, I really like how it's, like, um, everyone's just comfortable with each other. There's not, like, those kids that just, like, sit out mm -hmm. in the corner or that it's, like, um, I don't know, like, <clears throat> doesn't feel like they're welcome or, like, included. Yeah, I really like how it's like um, it's like a little group of friends kind of thing. Yeah, for sure. So shout out to Alina. Yeah, good job, Alina. Yeah, Alina, you really done yourself. For sure, for sure. All right. Basically, that's it. We already ran through everything. The main things that happened this year. And Alex, I'm really happy you got to go on with me. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe I'm on a podcast. Or fake podcast recap video yeah with you bro i know like dude. if i look if you told me this a year ago i'd be like bro what <laughs> yes <clears throat> this is oh yeah and this podcast itself like the fact that we got to start something new mm -hmm. i'm so happy we did that and it it kind of all led to you know this moment where we're together and we get to have fun dude with our friends. yeah this was a heck of fun this was really fun. i'm so proud of you bro good job Thanks, i love man. you i love you too man also, if you guys have any moments that we've missed, throw them in the comments. Uh, tell us your favorite memory. And, yeah, that's basically it. It's a wrap. Goodbye. Yeah. Good night, America. I said merch plug, but I don't know if we're going to do that. I mean, you can stand up and show it off or whatever. I mean, hey, everybody. I know you already have the merch, but... Dude, what a sick <laughs> what a sick plug, man.